Hi, I'm Steve Afrin with Scion Systems. I'm a development manager for U.S. operations, and I'd like to take several minutes to introduce you to the latest product offering in our suite of identity management solutions, the Cloud Migration Tool. Most corporate IT staff are familiar with Active Directory as one of the industry-leading LDAP solutions for identity management in the enterprise, especially wherever Windows-based networks are used. As cloud technology evolves and companies start considering the ways in which operating costs can be reduced using cloud solutions, identity management between the enterprise and the cloud will become a growing concern. Provisioning and deprovisioning of user accounts and services will increase in complexity as enterprises need to synchronize identity management among multiple LDAP directories and multiple cloud solutions. Scion Systems is pleased to introduce the newest addition to our suite of identity management solutions, the Cloud Migration Tool, CMT. But don't be misled by the name. CMT helps not only migrate identities from Active Directory to the Microsoft Cloud, but also maintains identity management with regularly scheduled synchronization functions, as well as identity reconciliation and reporting on provisioning and deprovisioning events. The initial version of CMT migrates and synchronizes identities between Active Directory and BPOS, soon to be rebranded Office 365 later this year, but will support identities from other LDAP directories and provisioning for other cloud environments in the future. CMT is architected to be your one-stop shop for identity provisioning and synchronization in a heterogeneous LDAP and cloud environment. CMT also integrates well with another Scion Systems product called Active Directory Self-Service, which allows end users to unlock their own BPOS accounts and reset their own BPOS passwords from on-premise. When we start the CMT application, the first screen we come to is the dashboard. This is an overview of the status of identity synchronization between the local Active Directory and the Microsoft Cloud. We can see the number of users that have been enabled, disabled, modified, and deleted in the cloud, as well as the errors that have occurred during synchronization activities. For configuration, we can define the local domain and administrator credentials to access OUs in that domain. We are also able to define the cloud. Once we associate the cloud with a specific domain, we can define the administrative credentials for an administrator account in the cloud. And then we can go to the Manage Schedule tab where with a defined domain and a defined cloud, we can now create a schedule or modify a schedule, and if you choose, delete a schedule. When we create a schedule, or if we're modifying a schedule, we select a start date, and then a frequency for synchronization, anywhere from every 15 minutes to once every 24 hours. Then we're able to select specific OUs. We can choose either an entire OU or specific OUs. As we choose each OU, we're selecting all the users in that OU to be migrated to the cloud. If we choose the Sync Now button, we synchronize all the users immediately. The Reconcile button will cause us to look at the users in our local Active Directory and the users in the cloud and determine which users are defined in the local domain but not in the Microsoft Cloud, which users exist in the local domain and the Microsoft Cloud but who have different attributes, or the users that are defined in the Microsoft Cloud but are not defined in the local domain. It is worthwhile noting that there is also a Create button on the right side so that if we want to synchronize the identities that are defined in one location but not the other, we are able to do that with the CMT application. When we look at the reports, we can either look at audit reports or error reports. The audit reports are able to be exported to several different formats. 
and contain data that is stored in a SQL Server database so we can perform a number of different queries over different periods of time to get the information that might be needed by people looking at compliance or regulatory information. We can see what the previous value was as well as the new value, who changed the data, and when that data changed in the cloud. The air reports look rather similar in nature, but have different information, obviously. In the air reports, we can get the detailed nature of any synchronization errors that happen between the local domain and the Microsoft Cloud. Again, all the information is kept in a SQL Server database. And the data can be exported in any number of different formats. For the Management tab, we first select the domain and the cloud, and then we can look at the different types of users that are available in that cloud. Notice the checkbox that is next to each username. The checkboxes are there so that we can select specific users before taking specific actions on those users that are selected. For instance, we can enable disabled users, we can delete disabled users as well as enabled users, and we can create new users. We can even modify existing users. And then we can perform some exchange online services such as delegating mailboxes, setting mailbox size, and setting or removing forwarding addresses. CMT comes with the help section and we can always return to the dashboard to see the overview status of the health between our local domain and the Microsoft Cloud. Thank you for taking the time to look at the Cloud Migration Tool. For more information about CMT or other Science Systems products such as Active Directory Self-Service or Active Directory Manager Pro, please give us a call, send us an email, or go to our website and download and try the software in your enterprise environment. Thank you for joining us for this overview of the Cloud Migration Tool.